what happens when you feed an AI cosmic horror in quotes from H.P. Lovecraft? Also, is interacting with an AI image creator Eldridge in and of itself? Hello, and welcome to the Eldridge Collection. My name is Aaron Peterson, the curator. For the last month or so, I've been playing with the AI image generator called Midjourney. They describe themselves as an independent research lab exploring new mediums of thought and expanding the imaginative powers of the human species. The art that this AI makes ranges from pretty impressive to pretty weird to pretty bad. But then again, this technology is pretty new and who knows what it's going to be capable of making in the next couple years. I have been entering several cosmic horror and eldritch themed prompts into Midjourney and have been fascinated with the results. The first I did was the classic in his house at Relay, dead Cthulhu waits dreaming. At first, it took things pretty literally with a bunch of tentacles on an actual house, but with several more iterations, I was able to get this. I love how skull-like the face is, and it was really interesting that it chose to have the candles. Next, I took a longer quote from Dagon. The thing slid into view above the dark waters, vast, polyphemus-like, and loathsome. It darted like a stupendous monster of nightmares to the monolith about which it flung its gigantic scaly arms, the while it bowed its hideous head and gave vent to certain measured sounds. I think I went mad then. The first renders I got were split between a vague humanoid and what I assumed was a monolith. I re-rendered it and finally got to this interesting monster. I don't think I would add it to an illustrated version of Dagon, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Finally, here is an image of H.P. Lovecraft himself. I'm impressed by how it does a fairly good job of suggesting the author's likeness, but also the connotations surrounding him and his work. Look at the eyes. This is something I've noticed with Midjourney. It always seems to struggle with the eyes. So my free trial Midjourney's up, but I subscribed and I'll probably keep dabbling with the software because I'm not much of a visual artist myself. And it's just so cool how it's able to take ideas that I have and put them on the screen into something I could share with other people, but then it also synergizes it with other artwork that it pulls from its database. This whole time working with the AI, I can't help but feel how alien it is to be working with a computer in this way. There feels to be a warped and unknowable intelligence at play. Like with the candles, it makes its own choices from time to time. Also, it seems to understand quite a bit of nuance, as you can see with the Lovecraft image. However, it does take several iterations on your end to make something really worthwhile, and the more specific you get, the better results it gives. There are whole articles about different ways to write mid-journey prompts and how to achieve the results you want. So while it was made by humans and relies on your input to process anything, there seems to be something more at play. From what little I know about AI technology, what I can assume is that this intelligence isn't some semi-sentient Eldridge computer but instead a mirror holding up the images, words, and thoughts we have shared and were collected for this program. Midjourney and all other AIs at the moment aren't some eldritch alien. They're us, a small, distorted, and glitchy look into our collective unconscious and all of our cosmic horror nightmares. For now, it feels like a safe place to go and explore eldritch worlds and come back with great images to share with all of you. Have you played with Midjourney? What are your experiences? What did it feel like when you played with the program? I really encourage you to share your experiences down below because I am really fascinated with this technology and the images that it creates. If you would like to support this channel and the discussions we have and the art that we share, please like and subscribe. It helps a great deal. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.